Welcome back, everyone. This is our part two of Dr. Gray's um, uh, Zoom interview. Welcome, welcome again. Thank you for your patience. So we just we're just waiting for Grace to log in. So just a recap, Grace um, is a surgeon uh, with a 10-year consultant experience in the Philippines and decided to, to study uh, health admin uh, at 13. And then for some reason, our uh, stars aligned. <laughs> Hello, yes. uh, si Dr. Henry, special yes. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, October. That was on a Sunday. I was in the midst of doing assess an assessment that was due on Monday. So I was. So the assessment would usually like as in all nighter. Sha, I would read, read, read like so many stuff, and then you construct this like. 3,000, 5,000 word uh, paper wow. that you have. So, so antok, antok ako noon. Pero sabi ko, sabi ko, I wanna go. Kasi wala akong, aside from my classmates in Curtin, wala akong kilalang ibang Filipino doctors here. Hindi in sila Perth. sumama? Hindi sila sumama? Hindi sila sumama? Hindi, Hindi. Ay, kasi nga kami, <laughs> yung paper nga lang yun. <laughs> So they Pero, prefer to do the the homework. Ikaw, you prefer <laughs> to network, <laughs> which is a great decision, right? <laughs> yes. So Dr. Henry was the organizer along with Ma. So sila yung parang talo na tong si Ma. Nako, if you get to meet her, she's like very but mother, mother like talaga na mga fairy godmother na talo ko sa kanya. Mm -hmm. So I met everybody was super nice. They were all lovely. I met so, Belle. We're talking about Belle here. Uh, Belle, 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 Belle. Belle. Yeah, we were talking about the Filipino doctors cat club that was organized by Dr. Henry. It was uh in October and it was in a tavern uh where there's more than 20 of us i think who attended uh filipino doctors and their partners or some, their kids or something like that so and then we we met we met <laughs> we had a chat tell me more uh, yes yeah, so sobra yung i was so tired that we get again because of the paper but that was very nakapuhay sabi ko nga kay the husband ko kasi he came with he came with me to the to the gathering Mm -hmm. It's like para kung para kung nagkaroon ng instant support system because you you met I I I met people who were again like well who was going through what I was going through the multiple rejections I've met people na hindi pa nags start ng application but um, thinking of doing that eventually. And I've met people who've already done it. Yeah. So like sila ma'am, sila, sila sir, sila sir Henry. So very inspiring. You know, they, you'd hear their stories. <laughs> you'd hear their stories na parang, I mean, hindi siya, hindi siya traumatic. But you know, they didn't have it easy either. It was, it was also, they also, they also, and, even for them, it was even harder because nobody was there to guide them. Then they had to figure it out themselves. Yes, we did so that. So we're we did that. Yeah, we're luckier now. Because like this, yeah. Parang, look, they're putting together. Sila ma'am, they're putting together mga ganto. So we can we can ask questions. We can pick up. I mean, everybody's journey is different. So mine. I don't know if anybody will, you know, will have the same path or have had the same path as as myself. But the thing is, I think the message is you don't have to do it alone. Sobrang dami ni help. Si Yad, si Ma'am, si Ariana, pinagpasa ko ng CV ko. Si Dr. Lasam. Dr. Lasam was all the way in, in East. Pag meron siyang nakitang job opening, papadala niya. 
an accredited mm-hmm. surgery, surgical mm-hmm. trainee, ganyan. Pagpadala niya, si Dr. Ana Borja at St. John of God Midland, kinukulit yung HR niya. Kasi nga, nagsagmit ako doon ng CV, si Bell. So, you know, it's, it's, it's more than a network. Community talaga siya na si, si Dr. Henry, pinapunta ako ng Bunbury kasi may kakilala siyang director doon. So, I mean, you know, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had any of those had I not gone to the to the catch up so that was so yeah it's if if you ever decide that to come here to try this out and wala pa you know don't worry sobrang we support system pa dito you can ask anybody for we pa review naman itong CV ko, ganyan. They're more than willing to help. So, no, they'll when call I, you pa. They'll call you and give, give you pointers, not just email. When Kaya I met you, you, when I met you, we were having the, uh, lunch already or waiting for an order yes. or something and you uh, shared your story and what really struck me was you were feeling uh depleted uh, <laughs> <no hope. laughs> and you ang aking ang number one na natatandaan ko hindi ko makalimutan is you you kept saying to me they ayaw nila sa akin doktora <laughs> so yun na <laughs> nagigiitan sa akin throughout the conversation and lagi kong pinagigiitan sa iyo na because that's what you're saying. That's what the universe is giving to you. So what happened? What changed? Nakinig ako sa inyo, doktora. Ano sinabi din? I claimed it. Ano sinabi ko sa inyo? The, the no, favorite no, thing. Aral. Anong nakakuha mo aral the, during the that period. lunch lang? Lunch lang yan, ha? Yeah, na, um, the universe. <laughs> but you put up to the universe returns to you so stop it with the negativity be be for lack of a better Pray. word positive Pray. optimistic Pray. Yeah. Pray. so yeah um tapos meron pa si doktora ito ito talaga winner it's not it's not rejection ano ma'am it's it's redirect correct uh, correct so, dahil nare-reject ka doon sa iba, ibig sabihin may prepare sa iyo si Lord. Something better. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, 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 despite the many rejections and then nahirapan ka sa inaaral mo, masterals, etc., etc. <laughs> and then I said to you, okay, let's do this. I, I'll introduce you to Dr. Martin. Send me your CV. Let's review it. Uh, yung, uh, i-review mo yung mga selection criteria and ang sabi ko sa'yo na you resubmit your application to the depart- head of the department. Diba? Sabi ko sa'yo. Tapos sabi mo, but doktora, they already rejected me. Why do I need to resubmit? Anong sabi ko sa'yo? Diba sabi ko sa'yo, ang mga HR, they will not hire you. It's the the doctors, the consultants, the head of the department who will hire you and they will just um, ask the HR to help to, you know, facilitate the hiring, etc., etc. Diba? So, pinasubmit kita oh, yeah. ulit sa lahat. Diba? Nagsubmit ka ulit. You resubmitted everything. Change your CV. You, we made it a strong CV. And you ask help from other people also to review your CV. So, you have a different mind shift and you have a different energy na. Diba? Tapos, yes. And when you have a different mindset, ano nangyari? Nag-change lahat ang ano, no, 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 circumstances. What happened? <laughs> um, that was uh, first week. First week of December. Parang ganun po. December. Because it was the best Christmas gift. So I got the email <laughs> from Medical Work. Got an email from Medical Workforce from Royal Perth Hospital. Okay. So, Ingay ka. I saw it. Yep. Yeah. They 
came up with a a job offer for medical officer. It's resident medical officer. So essentially, parang JMO. They created a a spot for you, de ba? This is not uh-huh. advertised. This job is not advertised. I I think that time there were um because Bell also got an email from the med- same medical workforce hmm. asking her because I think she submitted before and hmm. then they told her that there's there wasn't any vacancy that the yeah. time that she submitted. So I don't think they advertised it, but they had like uh, they kept her her CV on file. Yeah. So for the others and take away, if they say that they can reach out again, even if they say at the this is what happened with Bea. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sharing her story, but I don't. Pero think sa yo, pero sa yo nung nagresubmit first, nagresubmit ka. First, first submission. First submission mo to sa kanila? Sa Royal Perth, ma'am, yes. Pero, in, itong job na in mo sa Royal Perth wasn't advertised at that time when you submitted, right? I don't think it was on med jobs. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na hindi naka-advertise when you directly apply to the hospital, they either keep it or if for whatever reason, for the chance, yung chance mo na nagkaroon ng ng vacancy at that time, timing lang na nag-submit ka, yeah. you yes. can see how I, that I remember, <laughs> I remember also, ma'am, yung sinabi ninyo before when we were at the catch-up um, to just submit because just in case other candidates that they we'll supposedly decline. yes, and then a slot opens up and then they have, they have your your CV on yeah. file. Correct. So, kaya yun, yun yung message din yung ma- uh, tip din ni Mark mo na, uh, so yun nga, they, they do keep it on file as evidenced by uh, what happened with Bell. They, they emailed her again. This was also December. So she got in the royal party. Sure, palang din, in, in line with what you, with what you said, I think that's how Belle did it also because she called. Okay. She she called, up, she she called, called, hospital, called, called hospitals. Asa pa kasi si Belle? ba siya? Start siya sa Royal Perth? Um, sa Royal Perth siya? Sa Jundalap ma'am si Belle. So nakakuha ka rin ng call from o oh, email from Jundalap? Ay hindi na ma'am. Hindi na po ako nakakuha sa Jundalap. Oh I did. I think they said wala nang opening nung nag-submit ako. Okay. So, ang um, hindi ko makalimutan is nung before Christmas, you called me or you texted me, you called me, you chatted. And <laughs> I called you, I think. We're crying. Tira ka nga ako. Oo, oh, talaga naman, ma'am. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga, kung, it- kung itatago ko, lahat ng rejection letter, hindi ko pa siya dinili. Sabi ko, gawa kong lip approach. <laughs> yes. No, but it was, but it was very, it was very humbling. I mean, I'm not bragging. It was the experience of application for, for you know, for for um people who haven't applied yet, applied yet. It was very humbling. Kasi nga, um, you think, um, kaya ko naman to, itong job description na to, I can do this in my sleep. Mga <laughs> ganyan. And then, they won't even get you for an interview. Automatic rejection ka agad. So, it was very, again, it was very uh, humbling talaga. So, don't lose heart when you're applying and you get all these rejection letters. Ay, naka talaga, parang kasi nasa part ng rejection letter, one after another. Eh, Hindi just, tayo sanayin yan eh. Next. Hindi tayo sanayin sa next. Next, of course. Pareject, di ba? <laughs> True. Ooh. talagang ano lang siya parang don't take it personally don't take it personal just okay next. wala lang budget for me <laughs> wala <laughs> budget for the next. position <laughs> basta don't don't dwell on it nung start kasi before pa tayo nag catch up nun ma'am nung October nung start nung lungkot pa ako hindi naman ako sanay na nare-reject kaya nga sabi niya ma'am sa Philippines 
Um, wala. Wala. <laughs> wala. <laughs> Tapos na sa Pilipinas eh. Bakit ka mare-reject? There's no reason oh for people to reject you. You're a, yes. a, are a surgeon and you're already 10 years in your CV. You ha you've, you've done a lot of things. You're a consultant in three different hospitals. You've done medical admin as well in the Philippines. So, no, you know, very strong yung, yung CV mo. Pero para ma-reject ka for an RMO job or a junior job, not even surgery. Yeah. It's just so... Masakit, di ba? Na, ma, ano, ma, 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 masakit. Masakit sa loob <laughs> at saka sa ego, di ba? Pero, yeah. now, you, so you started working as an RMO, di ba? Resident yeah. Medical Officer at Royal Perth. Royal Perth Hospital is the um, a major hospital, one of the major hospital, actually top trauma hospital in Western Australia. You're very blessed, you're lucky to be in that hospital because it's a top teaching hospital. Every do junior doctor or medical students wants to apply and learn or be rostered at one of the hospitals. So um, how are you now so as a RMO uh, in um, Royal Bird Hospital? Are you doing general general RMO job or other yes. things? Yes. So for, um, for the benefit of our younger colleagues who haven't worked here yet, so as an RMO, essentially, parang intern sa atin, may rotations ka. So si, iba pa kasi, di ba, RMO, dito we don't go as interns. The presumption as an IMG is you've already done your internship abroad. Yeah. So the interns here are the local graduates. So ang entry natin would be the RMO or JMO. Si Dr. Anna Borja, na pumasok na dyan sa ating ating Zoom. I think that's her. She's a reg. So that's that's um, higher up. Parang constant, parang new rotation. Hindi siya nag-rotate essentially. Gen med lang siya. Para kang senior oh. RMO. Parang senior registrar. Parang ganun. Gen reg. Oh. Gen re, uh, re si RM, ang, ang reg si mas mataas. Parang oh. siyang parang siyang three presidente Pero, sa atin. Oh. Pero hindi ito specialized. Para ka pa rin nagmumunlight, di ba? Yes. And my first rotation was ED. Oo oh, naman. Okay. <laughs> baptism, <laughs> baptism, baptism by fire. Kailan ba ako huling nag-ED, di ba? And yung ED... Well, of course, we did ED in... Um, for, pero nung residency, ang tinitignan ko lang, surgical patients. Yeah. That's the only patients that we get called for. Yeah. So yung lahat ng ED would be internship pa. So that was 2000 <laughs> what? 2000 ko kung ko po. More than 10 years. <laughs> so talaga, talaga namang, ano na nga ba ito? Ganyan. So pati pag-insert ng line, ikaw. Magdala ng blood, ikaw. <laughs> so all, balik intern yung, yung a lot of, a lot of cut work a lot of paperwork but you get exposed to all kinds of cases the the case mix is very diverse i was very um i was admittedly i was very unprepared for mental health presentations because in the philippines sa ed that i was i was with wala naman diba separate Separate, even in USP, hindi naman din nadala sa, di ba sa ED yung, yung uh, psychiatric patients or mental health presentations during my internship in UH, hindi din. So, St. Luke's also hindi din tumadaan ng ED yung mga active psychotic patients. So, wala. So, again, for, you, for, for our younger colleagues who are preparing for um, work, brush up on your psychiatry notes uh, uh, just because hindi natin sila sanay na, na gagawa sa Philippines. So, na, mean, that was, uh, so natapos the na yung, were, yung yes, ano, natapos mo na yung term one mo, di ba? So, yeah. do you have any regrets na nandito ka na sa Australia tapos 
na you starting working as an experienced intern <laughs> with no, no a regrets. lot of stock knowledge yeah um i wouldn't say regret i mean i prayed for this so answered i prayer. am thankful prayer. Um, answered prayer yes so i'm thankful for it for the opportunity I know not everybody gets the same opportunity that I was blessed with, so no regrets. Um, I'm taking it's very tiring. <laughs> you know, from my perspective as an elder, as an elder doctor. But, but Grace, but Grace, uh, paki clarify sa kanila. Yes, you're tired, but are you duty twenty four seven for the eight hours, thirty six no. hours? No, no. di ba? Ano ang Alam duty mo? Dito. Bawal yun. The most, ano ang the most mo? that, yeah, they have very, they're very strict with like, they would, kasi they would post like, um, kunyari may nag-absent in a different um, team. So they would, per, they would post um, whoever wants to take up an extra shift and then nakalagay doon, hindi pwedeng straight shifts. You can't do straight shifts. There has to be like a minimum eight-hour gap between shifts. If you're, if you're rostered on, you can't take on an extra shift like that. So they're very strict. Hindi, hindi overnight. Um, hindi, the, I think the longest would be like 12 hours. So you have 12 30. hours shift for how many days? Five, ten? Three. Mm, four. Four, four and then how many they, days in day of more? The, so how, days the hours, how many days in day of more after the four hours uh, roster? A uh, four days rost, roster na the, 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 the three days, ma'am, yun, yun na, minsan. So they give you the way they do it, they did it with me was so you're 80 weeks per, per fortnight, right? So, um, Pahala sila. Minsan, there's a stretch of like five, six days that are on for like eight hours para you, you can meet yung 80 hours and then a gap of straight like three days. Yung iba ko ang mga kasama, ma'am, in between yung mga shift namin nasa Bali. That's what they do. <laughs> o, oh, diba? Ano yung sabi mo doon? My three days uh, day off ka? Anong ginagawa mo sa day off mo? Ginagawang, tagay, ginagawang tagaytay ang Bali. So, <laughs> In between, ay, hindi ko pa naglagawa yun kasi yung, yung schedule din ng husband ko, I have to take into account. But anyway, they can do that. They they do that. So Even ikaw, now, anong, anong ginagawa mo sa three days off mo? Anong ginagawa mo? Apart from sleeping? Ay, ako, nag, nagka-catch up ako. <laughs> nagka-catch up ako sa sleep. I, I, would, I would read. Kasi, again, um, the ED stuff, Rama. medyo kailangan kong hukutin. Refresh. Refresh. So, yeah, okay, papakita ako sa desk ako ngayon eh. So, I'm ready. Ay, sorry. Ay, hindi ko nakain oh. yan. Hindi nakain ng oh. pa. <laughs> Balik libro ko, ma'am. Yan. So, nagbabasa-basa ako. Hindi naman buong araw. Pero, I mean, habang, habang buhay ako. Tapos, kapag, sa, kapag, kapag ano, the dinner out, um, pag umaga magagawa mo ba yan kung nasa Pilipinas ka magagawa Ma'am? mo ba yan 3 days na off <laughs> nagagawa mo ba yan sa Pilipinas kung sa Pilipinas hindi na ako nag-ibro kaya <laughs> <laughs> sabihin nag-day off ka ba ay ako naman meron din naman it's just that um, it's different because like here Pwede ka mag-beach like, uh-huh. in, like, in a day. Like, tayo, lika, oh, lika, oh, yun, punan na kayo sa hapon. Ganun lang. Hindi yung, you have to make a day of it. Like, you yeah. know, prepare where, where we're gonna stay, when we go to the, hindi, hindi, puta ka lang dyan, ganyan. Tapos, even if you don't swim, pahangin ka lang, punta ka so, ng park. So, maraming question din, how's the pay? Okay. Okay. Um, kikita mo ba yung kinikita mo? Kikita mo ba yung kinikita mo ngayon kung nasa Pilipinas ka? Medyo, pero 
Um, ang difference, ma'am, would be siguro it's hard to compare because I'm a junior doctor here. Of course. It doesn't it doesn't automatically translate. Minsan iniisip ko parang pag nakukuha ko yung paycheck. Um, ayun ko yata itong kitain. Parang <laughs> pero again, it's a choice. It's not it, I'm not gonna be an RMO forever. I know right. I can I mean, I don't know Every yet. Every year, okay. nag-increase yan. Every year, nag-increase yes, yan. At saka pagka nag-work yes, uh, during public holidays and on weekends and night shift, yeah. nag-increase din yan. Hindi, hindi, yes. hindi and, mo talaga makukompare. And sa Philippines, we never, di ba, kahit 24 hour duty, we never had like differential pay or anything. So, walang, ano, yung pag-weekend rate, walang, meron dito. May night differential. Ay, bang night? Oh, t- merong night differential. Tsaka iba yung rate ng Saturday and Sunday. Nag-aaral ka pa ba ng AMC 2? Kasi di ba you finished your AMC 1 ages ago. Are you still studying for AMC 2? Di ba nakaschedule ka I'm dapat? I'm supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be studying. Kasi, kasi okay, I know, I know for... Again, the others who tra- who've been trying, it's so hard to schedule, the ba? Like, the website would crash. Nasa Philippines pa lang noon. I actually did a, I actually did a review class with Heal 2022. Bala ko mag-exam ng 2023. Hindi ako makakuha ng slot. So, nainis ako. Kaya sabi ko, mag-aral nga muna ako ng masters. Yun yung naging, ano ko, mainipin kasi ako eh. So, yun yung naging... Yun yung naging parang thought process ko na naman na baka, parang baka by something ba't hindi ako nakakapag-exam. Sige. Tapos November ako nakapok. Nakapok ako ng, ng for dapat itong Q1, yung Q1 na exams ng 2024. Hindi ko na, I don't know if anybody has experienced it. So the new, the new thing now is the, so it's um 9 a.m. Eastern time, so 6 a.m. dito sa sa West. So online ka na dapat. Tapos sa Philippines din pala, same same tayo, diba? So online ka na dapat yun sa website ng AMC to try to, to book the exam. Basta pindot na lang ako ng pindot. Kahit anong date, kasi naka, may naka, baka squares ng date, exam dates. And then once you press on one, it will go on to the next. Sasabihin, full na. Tapos, kasi ganun kadami yung nagtatry yung mag-book ng exam. So, I just clicked on whatever. Whatever box okay. popped up, I clicked on it. So, eventually, I was able to book one. I'm scheduled for May 9. Okay. Kasi yung una ko rin na-schedule na, na date, I got an email after, kasi nagbayad na ako and all that. Huh? Doon mismo, after mo, nagbabayad ka na, di ba? After paying, I got an email like same day naman din yata in the afternoon saying na yung date ko kukulo na. So, like, why, why did it allow me to proceed with the payment? So anyway, they offered us like a few dates that I could choose from. So there, I selected May, May 9, Doktor. So, Nagkakaaral ka ba? Kasi may mga group so, chat na about AMC2. Have you been connecting to other Filipino doctors here or Dr. Edwin is doing AMC2. Maraming mag amc 2 Is he? Yeah. Oh! Hindi pa Kasi, po, ma'am. Ako, Kasi mas sabi ka after KD. <laughs> yes, you want KD. But you invested already in this. Pagka, pagka hindi mo to napasa, magbabayad ka na naman. No. Which, and it's, you know. I know. Mag-aaral ako. You don't know how to do this alone. You need you need to yes. ask Jan as well how to, to guide you because she's done this before. She she was she was giving me tips. Yun. You got just get everyone's tips <laughs> because I didn't know that si Dr. Edwin pala. Ako uh, nag, nag nagre-review siya kasi AMC 1 siya pero kailangan niya na mag-yata mag-AMC 2. I don't know when. 
But yeah. I'll reach out to him. Just re reach out because I don't know exactly when he's booked or whether he's really booked it already. Uh, I'm not sure. Pero, uh, so, mara, uh, so far, mahirap maging, sorry, nasa ED ka. Tapos ka na ba sa ED nitong term 1 or meron ka pa? Anong next rotation mo? I'm currently in, uh, they call it SAFE. So it's an after or steam. Um kasi kadi pa hindi sila nag 24 hours. So after five, the home team, like let's say uh, surgery or ortho or okay. Okay. vascular so, na, whatever. Yung mga hindi... Uwi na sila. Yeah, uwi na. <laughs> wala nang wala na go overnight na you. Bawal. Walang so, nag-o-offert. Walang mga, anong tawag doon? Walang mga, <laughs> uh, anong tawag doon sa pag mga nag overnight na walang bayad? Walang. Anong tawag doon? Hindi uso dito. <laughs> dito ang martir. <laughs> no work, no pay. Ba? If you work after hours, they will not pay you if you're not rostered. Right? Oh. Opo. Walang, walang ko kung martir dito. Nag-overtime para matapos yung ganyan, para matapos nila. Uwi sila. <laughs> Nagmamadali so, na. Ikaw, ikaw din naman yung nasa location na yun. Ganun din. Yeah. Uwi ka din. Uwi din ako. Pag kunyari hindi, yeah. kahit hindi papatapos, there's another, there's another team that will come on. So I will hand over the job. Hindi, hindi yung para sa atin na from duty ka na, di ba? So, technically, you're supposed to, technically, pwede ka umuwi. Pero hindi kasi kailangan pang tapusin yung discharge papers ni ganyan. Hmm. May so, mga question, Grace. Yes, ma'am. Di ba, may mga kaklase ka nagmamasters, di ba? Among sa mga kaklase mo, ikaw lang nakakuha ng job. May nagtatanong, pag nagmamasteral ka dito. Oh, no. they, haven't, they haven't done AMC 1 yet. Ah, so kailangan talaga nila ang edge mo kung mag-aaral ka ng health admin or any masters at least you have AMC1 para meron kang edge na makapasok ng job dito sa Australia. If you will apply. Kasi Furthermore, eh, uh, um, on a student visa, does it mean we look for a job while doing masters? That's what you did. That's what I did, yes. I'm on the work visa now. So, yung Royal so, Court ang nag-sponsor ng work visa mo, di ba? Opo. Um, seamless naman yung um, I mean, transition from student to kasi nga sponsored, sponsored ng employer. So, I didn't run into any problems with, I mean, nag, nag madali lang ako kasi I got, I applied for everything December. So, yeah. there was Christmas break, and I was supposed to start on the second week of January. Nawala. January, parang... Impossible yun. Nawala pang kaya. APRA registration takes one month or so eh. Kaya impossible yung mga start ka talaga ng January. Sinabi ko yata sa yun eh, na uh, it will take one month or two months for you to get the APRA registration eh. I was told kasi by the by medical workforce that I could while waiting for the APRA that I could apply for the visa. So yeah. I did that. Eh and... <laughs> Siyempre hindi tatanggap. Ang, ang yes, <laughs> ang immigration, they sent an email asking for my APRA. Yes. Na may deadline. Parang in 3 weeks kailangan ma-submit ko yung APRA. Hindi naman na sinabing i-deny nila yung application. Oh, uh -huh. But I mean, what else could it mean ba if they, yeah. if they set a deadline for it? Yeah. So, e din nag-panic na ako kasi nga wala, ay, ay, wala akong matawagan sa APRA. Kasi ang sasabihan lang, I mean, I, I was able to speak to yung trunk, sa trunk line ng APRA. But the only thing they said was it was still within the process, published processing time sa website. So, they can't do anything about it. Kasi nakalagay sa website six to eight weeks, di ba, parang for processing of um, APRA applications. So, if it, if it still falls within that, they can't do anything to expedite it. So, 
edi nagpapanik na ako na i-withdraw ko na ba yung application ko for visa. Kasi I don't want it on my record na na-deny ako ng visa, okay. di ba? Kasi nga, parang hindi rin siya maganda naman. So, so I consulted a lawyer and then ang advice niya was uh, to just mag- to write to uh, immigration saying that it's story na, I mean, I didn't do anything wrong or It's being processed. You can tell yeah, that so I, they can get, be lenient to you. Yeah. So the so the lawyer just said to just tell them what happened that you're still waiting, uh, that you reached out to APRA and they said it will take six to eight weeks. Yeah. Uh, so and then I when I I attached a letter from I also asked out from medical workforce from HR, so hospital, um asking for an extension of the deadline that they set. So I attached that onto my email to immigration. And so before naman sila naka-reply sa akin, again, galing ng timing ni Lord, I got the <laughs> So may nagtatanong, <laughs> may nagtatanong, how long did you get the job offer, uh, uh, offer after applying for jobs? But I think Grace... I think ang pivotal moment mo is finding the connection because I don't think you will get the job if you didn't get the connection and the guidance from the group. Yes. Because you're so, feeling depleted na eh. You're feeling a negative vibe at the time when I met you. So, October siya. October. Dumating ka kailan? Oh, from the time that I was here? Yeah. Ano po? June of 2023. So more than six uh, months. Oh, almost six months. Almost, almost. Six months. Yeah. So, yes, magpuputong tayo again. <laughs> Kasi masarap ang usapan natin. At uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, entertain more questions. But let's go out and go back in again. Sorry again to everyone. Uh, let's log in back and uh, continue the last segment of our part part three of this uh, Zoom meeting, okay? I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.